What is going on, YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media, bringing you yet another episode of Pokemon X and Y Battle Spot Live. This is episode number 17, and before we get into the team, because I have uh, some new Pokemon here that we're bringing today, just want to remind you guys that as long as this video reaches 50 likes, uh, we're going to continue those double daily Wi-Fi uploads and uh, all that good stuff. But it's not really just 50 likes on this video, as long as we get 100 likes between the two videos... You know, I don't like to nitpick, so I'm grateful for all the likes that I do get. I'm grateful for all the support that I do get. I try to say in almost every video that I love each and every one of you because you're awesome. And uh, I would just be absolutely nothing um, and completely irrelevant if it wasn't for somebody deciding to watch the content. So, yeah, I am, I am grateful, just so you guys know. Um, anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get into the team here. I've got, like, half Sun Team, half not Sun Team going on. It's not like a full Sun Team or anything. I do have the Charizard Y. I've got Dust Noir. Uh, Assault Vest, Bouffalant, Choice Specs, Heliolisk, Life Orb, Nidoking, and Focus Sash, uh, Shiftry. And, um, as I said, kind of like half Sun Team going on, because Shiftry has the Chlorophyll, and, uh, Heliolisk has that Solar Power, uh, as I mentioned, because I believe I used Heliolisk in the last episode, the last couple of videos. I don't remember how many times I've used it, but I know you guys have seen it before. Uh, now anyway, looking at this team here... Kind of interesting. He's got two Pokemon that don't have items in Honchkrow and Zapdos. He's also bringing the Garchomp, uh, the Clawitzer, uh, which is probably going to be Specs or like a Salt Vest. One of the two. That's usually what they run. I have seen Life Orb as well, but that's not nearly as common as the Specs and a Salt Vest sets. Charizard's definitely going to be his Mega here. Uh, Garchomp could be Scarf, but it could be other things as well. It could be a bulkier set. And then uh, we have the Malamar, which is actually very scary because that contrary superpower is nothing to laugh at whatsoever. It is incredibly dangerous, uh, so I will need to be careful about that. Uh, now, looking at my Pokemon, um, I think I want to bring Dust Noir. I think I want to bring Nidoking, and I think I want to bring Bouffalant as well because he's got... A Quite a few special attackers here. Uh, Zapdos, probably Charizard? I don't know. Charizard could be X. Um, and Clawitzer. But if he brings the Clawitzer, I really won't have any answer to it. Um, especially if it's Assault Vest, because I don't think I'll be able to get rid of the uh, Clawitzer just with a Thunderbolt uh, from Heliolisk, even though I might be running, or even though I am running Specs. Um, don't know if that would be enough. So I'm going to bring the Bouffalant, because it also has Stone Edge. It can take care of Charizard in one hit. Especially if it's Y, because I should be able to tank any hit with the Assault Vest. Um, so, we'll see what happens here. I'm going to lead off with Dust Noir, though, because why not? He's going to lead off with his uh, Charizard here, so... This is interesting. Um, the best option for me might be to switch into Bouffalon at this point, predicting that he's going to be Charizard Y. Uh, I should be able to take the hits. I know the sun's going to come out, and that's still going to do a lot of damage. Um, but I really can't hit Charizard with Dust Noir. I mean, I have Shadow Sneak, but I'm not invested. So it's really not going to do much at all. And, yeah, I'm not really, not really feeling that. I mean, I can't burn him. I can't get any kind of residual damage. I'm not running the Toxic. So we're just going to switch into Bouffalant here in the first turn and see what happens. Hopefully he's not Charizard X. He is Charizard X, so that is a bad time for me. Um, hopefully he like goes for Outrage or something and locks himself into that. That would be nice. He's going to go for the Dragon Claw. And we'll see how much this does. It's still going to be a three-hit KO. He does outspeed me by quite a bit, though, so I need to hit this Stone Edge or I'm going to be in a world of hurt. I would go for the Earthquake, um, but I don't have it. I'm carrying the Mega Horn instead, and that might be what bites me in the butt here. Stone Edge, and it misses, of course. <laughs> of course, why did I say that? Oh my gosh, I just jinxed myself. So he's just going to go for the Earthquake, doesn't matter. Uh, he's going to kill me off, so Bouffalant does absolutely nothing uh, because of that miss. But in reality, that's kind of my fault. I shouldn't be running Mega Horn. I don't know why I still had Mega Horn on this thing. Um, because I do have the superpower that still takes care of the dark types uh, just as easily, so I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. That, uh, the Edge Quake combination is too, too good of a coverage to pass up on for Megahorn. That's stupid. So now I basically need to go into Dust Noir here, um, and just continue to go for Shadow Sneaks. Um, 
So the only Pokemon I have left besides Dustwar right now is Shiftry. That could be a problem. I was thinking about bringing Nidoking, King, but I was like, you know what? We're going to bring Shiftry because Shiftry is way too powerful. Way too powerful. People do not know the power of Shiftry. Nobody understands. Well, that's not true. Some people do. Uh, but I just basically have to spam Shadow Sneaks here, and then once he gets me down to a low enough HP, I can go for a Pain Split and do a little bit of extra damage and then prolong my death a little bit. I am physically defensive. Um, I do have some physical defense um, EVs and such going on here. I am running the Bold Nature, I believe. I think. Not positive on that. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go for the pain split here as he gets me down to 13 HP. Thankfully he didn't get a crit or that would have been uh, the end of me. Uh, but we have him down below half now. We just need to hope that he's not running that roost or uh, we are going to be in some deep trouble. And that's pretty much gonna be the match. On Well, I don't know about that, but we'll see. We'll see. I think Shifri could still come back from that. But we are down 3-2 to two here. We're about to be down 3-1 to one in a second. Um, oh, I survived that with 21 HP. Okay, that is fine by me. I'm not going to be able to live another Dragon Claw regardless, uh, so I just need to go for another Shadow Sneak. There's no point in me going for Pain Split at this point because he's at such low health as well. Uh, so the bright side of things here is that we were able to wear down this Charizard X, and it appears as though he does not have the Roost. Or he was just either... I guess he could have been afraid to use it because of the Pain Split, uh, which is understandable. So, let's go into Shifri here, and let's hope for a big comeback. Down 3-1. to one. Can we come back with Shifri? I think it's completely possible. I've done things before with Shifri. As you've seen on this channel, if you've been here a while, did have a 6-0 Shifri sweep a while ago, so that was pretty cool. Just gonna go for the Sucker Punch here. Not going to risk him going for, like, Flare Blitz or something and burning me. Do not want that to happen. Uh, I am carrying the Focus Sash, so I am safe from at least one hit, as he brings in the Zapdos here. And I'm remembering from the Team Preview screen that he does not have an item, so Knock Off could... Yeah, that's not going to do as much. Not going to do as much as I want it to, so I'm going to have to go for a Swords Dance here and hope that a Sucker Punch is going to kill him after this. And I don't know if it will. He's going to go for the Rain Dance. Rain Dance Zapdos. Interesting. Not unheard of, though. Not unheard of by any means. I was really expecting like a flying type attack, maybe like air cutter, drill, uh, drill picks, drill picks, drill peck, or something like that. Um, I don't know what's going on. So we can get another free swords dance up because why not? As he goes for the thunder, interesting. That might be his only attacking move. That is a possibility. Um, no paralysis, so we are in the clear here. I can go for another swords dance here if I really wanted because that's not going to kill me unless he gets a crit. But do I really want to risk that? No, I don't. I don't. I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch. I'm not going to get greedy here. That should kill. Yeah, Zapdos goes down to that. Didn't want to risk the Paralysis. Didn't want to risk the Crit because I've been lucky so far to not get any hacks uh, up until this point. So, uh, my luck really isn't that good. Didn't want to push it. Out comes the Malamar. And I'm pretty sure we can just kill this thing with a Sucker Punch. Because I am at plus four. Um, it's going to be neutral damage. So we'll see what he does. But I think he has to attack. He does. And uh, the Sucker Punch should... KO this thing, and it does, so Malamar goes down, Shifri going in there, getting that uh, perfect sweep. I don't know if it's perfect, because we did get hit, but uh, down in that 3-1 hole, Shifri lifts us up out of it, and uh, gets us the victory, so that brings our record up to 21-12. Uh, so, we are at a 9-game differential right now, looking good, looking good, definitely, and uh, I'm going to say that we should bring Shifri again because Shifri is just so good. It's so powerful, especially with that Focus Sash. It basically gets a free Swords Dance. And you can start spamming Sucker Punches. And if your opponent does not resist it or is not just extremely bulky on the defensive side like Avalog or something, uh, you're going to have a hard time taking that. So looking at my opponent's team here, I didn't see a rating on the, the preview screen. I might be in free battle by accident. Um... Yeah, I think I am, but uh, I guess I'm going to have to change that uh, in between recordings. My bad. Sorry about that, folks. Um, so now, looking at this team, we've got um, Mega Mawile, I'm going to say, because people don't really run Mawile on its own, usually. We also have Garchomp, Talonflame again, Cloyster, Galvantula, and Venusaur, which could or could not be the Mega Venusaur, because people do carry the double Mega sometimes on Battle Spot in kind of a situational way. Um... So, that's very possible. 
So, I think I want to bring Charizard, and I'm going to bring Heliolisk, and we're going to bring, uh, we have to bring Shifri again. I, I don't really see any way around it. We're bringing the Sun, we need to bring Shifri. He does have the Chlorophyll, so that could end up proving to be useful, especially if that Garchomp ends up being uh, Scarfed or something. And it's an easy way around the priority Brave Bird of Talonflame, because if we outspeed it, we can KO it with a Sucker Punch before it hits us with a Brave Bird. So, I don't really have any other answers to Talonflame, to be honest. So, we kind of have to rely on that. We'll see what happens. I'm sure he's going to bring it, but Talonflame has just been destroying us the past, like, five, six, seven episodes. Uh, there's been Talonflames in all of them, and they just destroy my teams, because I don't bring hard counters just for Talonflame. I mean, come on, it gets old after a while. And I'd honestly just rather lose and use my own, you know, strategies of my own Pokemon that aren't just constant rock types. I guess I could bring Tyranitar or, you know, Aerodactyl again, but I like experimenting with Pokemon, so I'm okay with losing every once in a while just because of the Town Flame. Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, we got Galvantula and Charizard out here uh, leading things off. He's going to go for the Thunder, which actually reduces down to a 50% accuracy in the sun. Uh, but he still connects with it, and I barely survive. No Paralysis. So that's two Thunders with no Paralysis today. I'm okay with that. I'm definitely okay with that. He's going to live the Flamethrower with his Focus Sash. And um, he does still outspeed me because I don't gain any speed as uh, I Mega Evolve. I'm pretty sure I'm still base 100. And uh, Galvantula is a little bit higher than that. So that is a little bit of a problem. He might just predict me to switch out. Um, but I'm going to switch out anyway because... Um, even if he goes for the Bug Buzz, you know, I Quad Resist it. I'm pretty sure that's still going to kill. I only have 14 HP. Uh, I can't really afford to get rid of this Charizard at this point, so I'm going to switch out. I can't switch into Shiftry either because he's not going to take that Bug Buzz very well. Not interested in breaking that Focus Sash either. Uh, so we're going to switch into Heliolisk, and uh, if for some strange reason he does decide to go for an Electric-type move, uh, like the Thunder again, he uh, at least will resist it, so that will be to my advantage. He could go for the Sticky Web as well, so it will help to get Heliolisk out onto the field at least, and uh, be able to deal some damage before having to come back in on a Sticky Web. So we'll see what happens here. He's actually going to go for the Bug Buzz, so that's not going to feel so good. And yeah, that does more than 50%, and I take solar power damage because I had to switch in, which is unfortunate. So basically what I need to do here is just stay in with Heliolisk, and just keep spamming moves. Um, he might just switch out predicting, I don't know, predicting like a Volt Switch or something. He might switch into Garchomp. I think he had a Garchomp. Yeah, so we're going to go for the Dark Pulse here, um, predicting a Garchomp, and see what happens. It's going to be Venusaur, okay, because he still resists the, um, whatchamacallit, the Electric-type move, so that was not a bad play. That does a lot of damage because that is Specs and Solar Power, Still doesn't do 50% though, because this thing is probably specially defensive. And even if it isn't, I mean, Venusaur is very bulky. And he's going to get even bulkier here in a second as he is Mega Evolving, so we can pretty much rule out the Garchomp and the Mawile um, on this team. So Galvantula and uh, Mega Venusaur. I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse again here, by the way. That Oh, he goes for the Synthesis in the Sun. Not a bad move whatsoever. That's going to recover like 66% of his health, I believe want to say that looks like about 66%. Um, but yeah, that is a problem because he can just outstall me here. He might predict me to switch out again and go for an attacking move. Maybe predicting my other Pokemon, so he might have Sludge Bomb. I want to say he's going to go for the Sludge Bomb. I'm going to go for another Dark Pulse to get damage and hope he doesn't go for Synthesis. I also could get a Flinch here. Uh, so it does about 50%. And he is going to go for the Sludge Bomb, so that's okay. Heliolus can go down. Um, and the Sun should fade this turn. There it is. Uh, so we can bring Charizard back in here and put him in a little bit of a pickle. He's either going to have to sack off his Venusaur, which I don't think he's going to, going to want to do, um, or he's going to have to sack off his Galvantula, which uh, might be a problem for him because um, Galvantula is faster than Charizard, and it was easy for him to KO me. So that is a thing. If I had to guess, though, depending on what his other Pokemon is, I'm going to say he's going to sack off his Galvantula. But I have to go for the Flamethrower anyway. I can't make any kind of fancy predictions here. Um, just because I, I can't really afford to at this point. I am down. So he is going to bring in the Galvantula, sack it off. Not a bad move. He burns a, a turn of sun. 
and he gets a free switch into whatever his third Pokemon is. He's obviously not going to bring out the Venusaur. I don't think it's Garchomp or Mawile. I, if I really had to guess, I would say Talonflame, but I'm not positive. Um, so we'll see. It is the Talonflame. Okay, I'm like, I'm doing pretty well with the predictions today. I'm feeling these players out pretty okay. Some days I'm just completely off, like the Wi-Fi battle that you saw yesterday. The beginning part of that battle, I was just a trash, garbage player. It looked like I never played competitive in my life. And then other times it looks like, I don't know, I feel like I just get every prediction right for a while. So it comes and goes in waves. I think that's just the nature of the game. Uh, but when it's going well, it's going really well, and I'll take it. I will take it. Um, that being said, I'm in a bit of a pickle here with Talonflame out here. He's just going to kill me with Priority Brave Bird. And that's just going to leave me with Shifri. Um, I can't switch in. He's definitely going to... I'm going to sack off Charizard. I'm going to sack off the Charizard because there's nothing else that I can do. If I switch in Shifri, he's going to break my Focus Sash. And that'll be... That'll leave me with no chance to win. So, I'll still have three turns of Sun to work with. Uh, after going down here. So, I am okay with that. He is going to go for the Brave Bird. Obviously, that is the move to go for. And Charizard has no chance of living that, obviously from 14 HP, yeah, no way you're going to live that. Uh, so we might be able to see what item he is here. Looks like he's going to be Life Orb, okay. Um, that's good to know, I suppose. So out comes the Shifri. And I do not think that Sucker Punch will kill from here. And now remember, we do have the Chlorophyll ability, so we are going to outspeed his Priority Brave Bird with our Priority Sucker Punch. Uh, because our speed is doubled. But that being said, I don't know if Sucker Punch will kill. And we still have another turn of Sun to play with here. And I think I want to use it. I definitely think I want to use it. Um, what I'm going to do here is go for a Swords Dance. Have him attack me with a Brave Bird. Which is what I'm guessing he's going to do. Um, if he goes for Flare Blitz and gets a burn, that is a huge problem. But he might think that he has the match on lock right now. And that's what I'm going to bank on. I'm going to bank that on that he's going to go for the Brave Bird. And I'll live. He does go for the Brave Bird. So we're going to get a Swords Dance off. We're definitely going to be able to kill this Talonflame next turn. Uh, now the question is going to be, will we be able to kill off the Venusaur when it comes in with uh, plus two knockoff? And knockoff will not get the boost. Because uh, it's a Mega Stone. I can't go for Sucker Punch because the obvious move for him is going to be to go for the Synthesis when he comes in. Uh, so this, this Talonflame is as good as dead. Finally, we're destroying Talonflame. Finally, Talonflame goes down and is not going to cause me to lose the match. I love watching Talonflame go down. After how many times it smacked me around the last couple of days? Good riddance. Good riddance. Shiftry is so good. I don't understand how this Pokemon is just not used more. I do not get it. I don't get it. It's so amazing. Uh, so out comes the Venusaur. I think we might be able to kill. I don't know. We have to go for the knockoff. We're at plus two. No boost. And we do kill. Wow. The Venusaur goes down. As tanky as it is, Shifri going in there, taking out the Talonflame, taking out the Venusaur, pulling out two wins for us today. Coming back from three to one earlier in the match. Um, uh, not earlier in the match. Whatchamacallit. Uh, in the first match. But still, Shifri, definitely the MVP of this, um, of this session, for sure. Definitely. Faux show, sure, all that stuff. Um, so that brings our record up to 22 and 12. So we do have the 10-game differential going on, which is great. Uh, first 10-game, or first double digits, I guess, uh, differential that we've had so far. So that is, that is good. We will go into a slump at some point. So I'd like to get as far ahead as possible before that happens. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm definitely thankful uh, for Shifri. I'm definitely thankful that I brought him in this episode. I think I really need to use him more in Wi-Fi battles and on Battlespot because it's so good, even outside of the sun. He doesn't need the sun to function. Too strong. Too strong. Well, uh, thank you guys for watching, as always. And uh, do not forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, as long as we get those 50 likes, we're going to keep up those double daily Wi-Fi uploads for you guys. And uh, I will see you for the next episode. But until then, game on.